In today's video, I'll show you when I activate the motion detection on my Ring 3 Plus and my Ring Stick Up Cam 3. And you will see my Fire Tablet will stream the footage right there. And also my TV using my Fire Stick. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. I uploaded a video a few days ago on how to set up a routine in your Amazon Alexa so that your Ring, Blink, Arlo's, and Wise cameras will automatically stream the live view on an Echo Show device when it detects motion. I will link that video below, but this is a quick follow-up video and I apologize for any of my viewers if it doesn't really apply to you. This is my third video about Amazon Alexa, but I just want to let everybody know and get updated with a fix for the issue that I encountered in my last video. Also, Amazon Alexa have been improving on their smart home integration, and this is still evolving. Now, full integration is only available to Ring and Blink, which both of them are Amazon owned. But I'm surprised that Arlo's are able to also get full integration. And now these cameras loads up with little latency and has the two-way talk feature for the Ring and Arlo's. As compared to other brands that are advertised to work with Amazon devices like the Wise and Eufy. And these cameras have a 10 to 15 second latency in their streaming. And they don't have the two-way talk feature to the Echo Show. If you haven't seen my previous videos, then check it out first and come back here for the solution of the issue that I brought up in my last video. But before that, I also have tested more Amazon devices that will work with this automatic live view when your cameras detect motion routine. This will also work with your Amazon Fire TVs, Fire Stick, which I'll demo later on, and even your Fire Tablets, which I also have an old one. And the only thing is that there is no two-way talk and also has a bit of a longer delay in loading up and has a longer streaming latency as compared to Echo Show devices. Now for the issue that I talked about in my last video was the timeout feature. Now because you're automating the process and letting your Echo Show automatically stream the live footage, then when your camera detects motion and streams the footage when you are not at your house or close to your Echo device, then your cameras can stream the footage for 10 to 20 minutes until it times out. And that will not be good with your battery powered cameras. Now I tested the no motion detected option in the routine, but I was only able to make this routine and stop the streaming in my Arlo Ultra, and not with my Ring 3 Plus or Blink outdoor cameras. And I'm not sure why it didn't work with Ring and Blink. So I was reading and replying to your comments and I'll give a shout out to Carissa for suggesting of using the wait command in the routine to stop the streaming. And I tested it and it works. Now I'll do a recap of what you're going to do to stream the live view automatically on your Echo Show when your compatible Wi-Fi cameras detect motion. So we are going to set up my Ring Stick Up Cam 3rd Gen in this demo. Click Add Routine, enter a routine name which I'll name this Stick Up Cam 3 Routine. Click when this happens, choose Smart Home. Scroll down and look for your camera that you're setting up which mine is Stick Up Cam 3. Choose when motion is detected, click Next. Add action. Scroll down and choose custom. Type in the command that you use to stream your camera, which on mine is show stick up cam 3. Click next. Choose device, which I'll choose Life Hackster's Echo Show. Click save. Now we need to add another routine and I'll name this stick up cam 3 timeout. When this happens, choose your camera again, then select detected. Add an action. Now you scroll down and choose wait. In here, you can set the timeout time you want for the streaming to stop. And I'll say 1 minute is ideal. But in this demo, I'll choose 10 seconds. Add another action, and this time, scroll down and choose custom. And you can just type in go home for Alex A to go back to its home page. Click next, and choose your Echo Show device. So for each of your cameras, you need two routines to have a complete setup. And this is highly recommended if you have battery powered cameras so you will not drain out your camera's batteries. Also, I suggest to also add the timeout routine even in your wired cameras just to be sure the streaming will turn off. Also note that this automatic live view only works reliably when streaming to only one device. I tried to make two routines to show in my other Echo Show, but the streaming will only happen in one of them. 
And when you have multiple cameras that were activated in succession, then the camera that detected the last motion will stream and cut off the older one. Time to do some testing, but before that, I hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload tutorials like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you. Okay, first demo. So we have the routines. We have the uh, StickUp Cam 3 routine right here that will show on my Echo Show when it detects motion and we also made the uh, timeout routine that uh, it will stop the streaming in 10 seconds right there and uh, the command is Alex A go home so let's check it out remember the 10 seconds will be from the time it detects motion so let's activate this ring step cam there you go and I will get a notification on my phone and then it will automatically open up the echo show and see the latency and let's turn this off boom 10 seconds up turned off works excellent so now for the second demo i'm gonna use my fire tablet my old fire tablet right here and we're also gonna use my ring 3 plus and I made the two routines. I have the Ring 3 Plus routines. And the same process as I mentioned earlier. And this time on the device, I chose the Fire Tablet. Okay. And on the uh, timeout routine, have the ring three plus stop I named it like that and I put 20 seconds in there just because you will you will notice later on the streaming and the opening up is a little bit delayed and I chose uh, Alex a go home uh, as a command to turn off the streaming so let's check it out and also you will notice that my echo show will do the announcement all right let's activate this and my phone too. There you go. Then it turned on the Fire uh, tablet pretty quick. There you go. And look at the latency because there's some. I'm going to turn this off. I'll wait 20 seconds, then it will turn off. There you go. And that's with my old Fire tablet. So next demo will be on my TV using my Fire Stick, okay? So in the routines, I've, we're going to use the Stick Up Cam 3. And in the routines, I chose Stick Up Cam 3. It's the same process on making the routine. But on the uh, device list, I chose Fire TV Stick. And I also made, I also made a, the timeout, same thing with the Fire TV stick and the same command uh, to get it to go home. So let's check it out and we'll activate the Stick Up Cam 3. We got the okay. notification and there you go. There's a little bit of a delay. I've set the uh, the time out to 30 seconds. There you go. Look at the latency. Oh crap. <laughs> there you go. I mute that. There you go. And timed out after 30 seconds. As to the Ring Pro and the blue light issue, the routine is still doable because in my testing, the doorbell blue light will only turn on randomly and not all the time. And when it turns on, it turns on late in the detection. That means more than likely if somebody is going to push your doorbell, it will happen way before the blue light turns on. Also, I'm pretty sure Ring is going to fix this soon. Comment down below if you have any questions and see you in the next one.